You just pitched the Lambo. And you, you. I mean, look, I pitched it, but that don't mean I believe in it. Mm, fair I, enough. I, I, What's up, y'all? It's Cam here. Spade, what's going on? And we got another TBA pick'em for y'all. Spade, let them know what's the what we got on the docket today. We going big boy today. Like, get your wallet, get your mama pocketbook. We're we going hyper cars, bro. Hyper cars, hyper cars. Big boy, big boy stuff. And big, big, big girl too. We got the Lamborghini Revolto. I can't roll my V's like the Italians. What? Yeah, how you yeah. say it? Nah, 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 nah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> If you can afford one, you can call it whatever yeah. you want to so, call it. Lamborghini Revolto versus the uh, Ferrari SF90. You gonna say the Stradale? Stradale? That's what I'm gonna call. Stradale. That's what I'm gonna call. <laughs> you want? You want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna play around with you, bro. I'm a, I'm jumping in that Rari. Jumping in the Rari? Yes, sir. So you make your you make your pick right now. Before we even. Well, I mean, that's that's the car that I want to present. Okay, I mean, go ahead. Let's get into it. First of all. Uh, the base price of this car is going to cost you half a ticket. I'm talking $511,000, and that's the base price. And I'm, I'm going to assume options are probably going to take you up. And I want to back up and say that, you know, this is Ferrari. So you can't touch this car unless you got a few in the inventory already. Any more than a few, you got to have, you got to buy 10. Uh, can't touch 10. You got to have six of them in your garage. They got to be clean. You got to write an essay. Can't sell them to anybody else. Yeah. Got to sell them back to Ferrari. You probably going to have to have a few Ferraris that you don't even like. You know how they get down. This is powered by a twin turbocharged inner cool dual overhead cam 32 valve four liter engine putting out over 700 horses. However, there's also some electric motors. Now, the, the whole setup is kind of weird to me. So obviously it's a front engine car. And that engine is putting out 769 horses, 590 pound feet of, of torque. Mm. Um, it's a permanent magnet synchronous AC front motor, 133 horses, two each, 63 pounds each, might I add. And it's a permanent AC rear motor that puts out another 200 horses for a combined output of 986 horses. Now, if you really got money that yeah, you can buy the Shadale XX SF90, that thing there is putting out over a thousand horses. What that one started? 800 and something thousand. Sheesh. You know, I, Sheesh. 890, I believe. It's basically a million. It's a million. It's a ticket. Uh, I'm just going to jump out here and give you some facts about the car. Performance, car and driver saying zero to 60, 2.3 seconds. Zero to 105 seconds and a top speed of 211 miles per hour. You'll never get a chance to see that top speed. Here's something that I think is going to be very special and you're not going to be able to compete with it. <laughs> Let's talk EPA, shall we? If you want to talk about miles per gallon, off of the gasoline engine alone, you can get 20 miles around the city, 24 miles around... 24 miles <laughs> on the highway. We got something over here chirping at me. For a combined estimated 22 miles per gallon, which is actually really respectable. That's, that's pretty good. But also, that's just off the gas engine. If you want to do the combined uh, EPA, considering the E engine, you get a 70 miles per gallon estimate, Sheesh. which is crazy. And then last little tidbit, if you want to, if you want to run on just EV motors, uh, you can go up to 15 miles on just your electronic motors. Okay. This is a car that checks every box. I, I imagine it's probably not the most comfortable ride. I'm sure it's got a very sporty setup. But it probably ain't got no storage either. You ain't taking no storage. trips in this yeah, All you need is another seat. And it's, it's got one of those, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to experience a car that's beautiful by yourself. You want to share it with a person. It can definitely do that. I want to hear about your... Say it one more time. For Revolto. The Revolto. I ain't rolling my V's. I ain't gonna even try it. Rolling V's is crazy. The Lamborghini Revolto. All right, base price starts out at six hundred and eight thousand dollars. More money. And this car, this is the first year of the of the Revolto. It is the Aventador successor. This is a plug-in hybrid, of course. It has a three point eight kilowatt hour battery. You get five miles in the EV mode on this, but. Though the three hybrid motors are complementary of the 6.5 liter V12 engine has 814 horsepower, 535 pound-feet of torque that is accompanied by eight-speed dual-clutch transmission 
it is a mid-gen car so what that means is the engine is right behind your head in, the, in this two-door coupe it means if you tall you can't let your seat back yeah probably and it's gonna be very loud in that cabin but if you're buying this car you probably want that uh zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds has a 218 uh, mile per hour top speed which is higher than the sf90 uh, i think they're both the same allegedly in the uh, zero to 60 y'all know how these zero to 60 numbers get right but they in the same ballpark weighs 4,500 pounds on the curb oh, weight, basically. You, weight. you didn't give me weight, you slacking. But how much? 400, 4,450 pounds on the curb weight. I, I don't know if that's dry or wet weight. It don't matter. Yeah, it Either don't way, matter. it's heavy. It's heavy. It's a big boy. I know you touched on the economy. Lambo is getting smoked here. Gets 11 uh, combined miles per gallon, nine in the city, 16 on the highway. 11? Yeah. When you combine it with the uh, with the with the uh, electric motors, it gets 35 miles per gallon. So, you know, if you got the EV, as long as you got the electric motors going, you're getting solid gas miles. You're not getting 70, but you're getting solid gas miles. And as I said earlier, just off the EV battery, it's giving you five miles. So basically, once you start this car up and it sounds like a rocket, you know, you can put it in EV mode and leave your neighborhood quietly so your neighbors don't hate you. Yeah, that is the Lamborghini Revolta. Can I just make sure I understand? Yeah. So, the Lamborghini costs more. It does. Okay, um, the Lamborghini got worse fuel efficiency. It does. Bro, you know how I feel about Lambo. Like, I'm trying to defend them here, but you know, like, they ain't, they ain't giving me a lot to go off of. It got the same zero to 60. Same, yeah. Higher, higher top speed, by seven miles an hour. It's a heavier car. How much does Ferrari weigh? 3,900 pounds. Okay. So it's a heavier car. Same 060. So it's a heavier car. Same 060. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I want you to know that Ferrari one up Lamborghini with their service, their, their maintenance coverage. You <laughs> get complimentary scheduled maintenance for seven years seven years is... that's more than lamborghini uh, yeah it is it is lamborghini only offers three years actually they offer no complimentary scheduled maintenance they you get a three-year limited warranty we get the same and the three-year powertrain warranty same so they both offer the three years but the complimentary what, so, what all do we even know what comes included i with mean that? i'm what sure they... i'm sure oil changes and nothing else and we both know our oil change in a porsche ain't cheap can you yeah. imagine what it is in a lamborghini and a ferrari too much but we ain't got to worry about it for seven years over here i guess but i mean if you buying either one of these cars you got you got it like that don't mean you want to spend it but do that make a difference oh it makes a difference you think so it makes a difference all right millionaires if you watching this video just free complimentary uh maintenance for seven years make a difference it you, make a difference you want a lambo or ferrari is that is that gonna sway you either way okay cam i think we both know but go ahead and, and ask the people yeah i'm, I'm gonna ask the people leave a comment below which of these cars you choose you choosing the lamborghini revolto or are you choosing the ferrari sf90 how you say it stradale stradale or if you want to pick another hyper car like uh you know a 918 spider i'm always push my porsche propaganda oh god but yeah we're gonna have the specs on the screen so you can compare do what you need to do but yeah man leave a comment below and uh until the next time we well, out. before we get out oh. of here i want to know which one would you pick which one would i pick i ain't gonna lie i'm picking i'm picking the ferrari i'm picking the ferrari i'm not gonna get on no soapbox about lamborghini he know how i feel about lamborghini i think all of them look the same this one i will say i can tell i can pick this one out of a lineup like they've done a good job of making this look different enough but if you put a Murcielago and a Ventador and whatever the hell the other one is, and you put them all side by side, and you put a gun in my head and said, pick the right one, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead every time. Because I'm going to be like, they all the same. But this one looks different. But I'm picking a Ferrari for sure. I, I tried Lambo. Like, y'all got to gotta come harder. And I saw in uh old boy video, they did a drag race. The guy had bought, he owned both of the cars. He owned a, a five-year-old SF90 and just bought a Revolto and they did a drag race and the SF90 beat the Revolto. I said, that's not a good look. I might actually throw a curveball here. If I had to choose, I might actually choose the Lambo. And really? that's just because in order for me to have this car, I gotta have like 13 other Ferraris. 
and I don't true. want 13 other Ferraris. True. So from a performance perspective, let's be honest, nothing is messing with the Stradale. Do you notice I can't say it the without Stradale. going there? I have to do this. But I just had to put Cam on the spot and let you guys know he 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 wants this as All right, as before you, you, you gonna, we gonna mess up my outro again? Don't let me rock. Go, I, I, that's, that is your outro. That's the outro? You, the outro is you letting the people know that you're a fraud. No, I'm not a fraud. You just pitched the Lambo and you, you. I mean, look, I pitched it, but that don't mean I believe in it. Mm, fair I, enough. I, I had to pick a car. Fair enough. But yeah, so leave a comment on this video. Let us know. You picking, you picking either the uh, Ferrari or you picking the Lambo or if you picking something else and you got, you got real big ball of money, let it, hey. And if you, if you got one of these cars, get at me. I need a loan that I won't be giving back. Let us review it. Yeah, let us drive it. We ain't gonna tear it up, promise. We're safe. Real safe. That's it for this one. Until the next one. Peace.